My name is Fiona. I was born in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, and I am the youngest out of three siblings. As we celebrate Parents' Day today, I would like to take this opportunity to share about how God's grace enables us to fulfill His calling in our lives even if we have physical disabilities. Unlike most parents, my mom and dad are both visually impaired. They were not born with this disability, but ever since I can remember, my siblings and I have been their eyes, a way for them to see the world. When I was younger, we used to live in Wellness Sheltered Workshop for the Blind Toran Sabah. It is a place built especially for the blind community. My dad used to work as a customer service officer at the Likas Sports Complex at the time, and my mom used to work as a freelance massage therapist. Now, both of them have retired. If you were to ask me who my superheroes in life are and what makes them my superheroes, I will answer without hesitation that they are my parents. There are a lot of reasons why I call them my superheroes. Here are some of them. While my dad was still working in the Liga Sports Complex, he had to take a bus to get to his workplace. You must be wondering how my dad went to work in his visually impaired condition, right? Well, he had to walk for about one kilometer by himself from our house to the nearest bus stop, where he would wait for the bus. The bus will drop him off in front of SMK Shantau and from there, he had to walk another one kilometer to his office. He would then need to walk the same route again in the evening. This was my father's routine, five days a week for almost 30 years. There was only one time where I followed my dad to his workplace, and I remember it was really tiring for me to walk that far and I only followed him once because of that. I thought to myself, how did he do that every day for so many years and have never heard him complain about having to walk 4 km every day to go to work and come back home? It still amazes me to this day whenever I think about it. It shows how hardworking my father is and how much he had sacrificed for the family. As for my mother, like I mentioned earlier, she was a freelance reflexologist and a housewife. Every Sunday, she would go to Gaya Street with a group of other certified blind reflexologists. My mother had to leave the house as early as 5 am so that they could get the place ready and also to pack the things, which is massage chairs, that they would use. So they had to carry these chairs with them as they walked to the Gaya Street Sunday market, which took them around 10 minutes. It must have been hard for my parents to do all this, but they did it in order to raise us three kids well. Now you know why they are superheroes to me. Aside from being superheroes, I think they are also multi-talented heroes. My father can speak in front of a lot of people comfortably. He has good leadership qualities and good public speaking skills. On top of that, he is musically talented too. He sings and plays the guitar really well. As for my mother, she is really good cook and really creative. She can reuse recycled items and fix minor things in the house. What I am really grateful to my parents for is that they never neglected to teach us about Jesus and His words. With their guidance, I am not just Christian by name or by birth, but I am really a follower of Christ. Furthermore, they never use the disability or hardship to make excuses to not send us to school and university. My siblings and I are blessed enough to have been able to further our studies until our diploma and degree. This is because my parents realized that knowledge is really important. I remember my dad said this to us once. We can only give you skills and knowledge because you do not have a fortune for you all to inherit. So therefore I hope you can all you all can make use of the knowledge and skills that you have acquired because they are more valuable than other material things. Although my parents can't see the world with their eyes, but from them I learned that that is not the only way for us to be able to see God's amazing creations. 
It is just as Helen Keller said, the only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision. I can see how their vision is being materialized in our lives today. That's all from me. I hope you have been blessed by my story. Thanks for watching and bless Parents Day to all parents in SIB life.